Hey everyone, I'm Nina Gradia. I'm a somatic experiencing practitioner on the non-dual path. I'm really excited to share with you today about earthing or grounding. This is something that I've been doing consistently for the last three weeks, and believe me, it's a game changer. Had I started doing this 10 years ago, I almost question if I would have gone down this path, really, <laughs> because it's like you benefit effortlessly from doing this. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about it in general. And then I'm going to talk about how to use this in the trauma context with somatic techniques and in conjunction with a few of the other practices I've talked about, about surrendering effort. So physically, earthing does so much. In fact, there's this book that came with some products I ordered, but you don't have to order products. You can just go outside and put your feet on the grass. Just make sure there aren't electrical lines around there. Just make sure you're in a park or somewhere where you know there's, there's nothing so that you're actually grounding and discharging your EMF load and you're gaining negative electrons, a negative charge from the earth. And this negative charge, it's basically like you know, when you're eating fruits and vegetables and you're getting antioxidants, it's helping free radicals. It helps with your metabolism. It helps with making energy. And the book that came with the products I ordered because I'm doing that every night on a grounding sheet. This has so many references to different medical conditions that this helps in studies because basically anything that involves inflammation, any condition, that's inflammatory can be helped by reducing the inflammation. And that's what earthing does. Again, I, I've been in the natural health world for at least 20 years now, doing all sorts of diets and detoxes and, and then the somatic world. And, you know, this is like literally the most effortless thing I've ever done. You do nothing but just lie on, the grounding sheet, um, what I got, it's actually, let me see if I can find it here. I got this, this mattress cover, this black mattress cover, and then you, you just plug it into your wall and they give you an outlet tester that, you know, to make sure that your uh, outlet is grounded. So then it's safe. Then you can plug this in. So I'm sleeping on this eight hours a night. And even now, I should probably show you guys, I'm sitting on one of these grounding pads and I've got my feet on another one. <laughs> and I'm not affiliated with this company at all. It's called earthing.com, but I am gonna reach out to them because I'm so blown away. So if that changes, I'll, I'll put that information in the description box, you know, and let you guys know if maybe there's a discount code or something, I, I don't know. But right now I'm just enjoying all these products and I have this um, blanket that I'm draping over me that has these conductive wires but the whole premise basically is that if you're grounded to the earth which all of us have been before 1960 so I was born way after that <laughs> so I've never right just the few moments where we're you know climbing a tree when we're young or walking barefoot we're supposed to be grounded to the earth we're we're part of the earth you know, like we're made of all the same elements. And some people have even referred to the earth as our cosmic body. And we're not meant to be separate. And I, I can think of this in so many paradigms, like the spiritual paradigm of the oneness, the somatic paradigm and trauma integration paradigms of, you know, integrating. And I, I would never have thought of this. And after I've been receiving all these benefits, my mind has just been turning because I've done so much work on silencing mind and efforting and being and so much work on somatic integration and liberation work. And what this earth thing has done for me, it's given me energy, so much energy. It's literally like you know, charging your batteries. <laughs> I, I can feel even the tingling and it's, it's feeding this energy that you need to channel 
what you're doing. Like you need basic energy for awakening. You need basic energy for healing. When the system gets really depleted, when the adrenals get taxed, the thyroid goes down, these things can happen in trauma. When you go into stress metabolism, it can be a horror show. I've been there for many years in the past and you can just spin like this and it feels like, how come I'm not healing my traumas? But you might be doing all the right things, but you didn't have enough energy in the system. The mitochondria might not be functioning properly. And so this supports the energy of your overall system and allows you to do what it is that you're trying to do. And furthermore, the inflammation in the body that it's decreasing, that includes brain inflammation. It's going to help physical problems, but it's going to help emotional problems as well. In fact, it reduces cortisol and it syncs up the cortisol with your circadian rhythm the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to have high cortisol in the morning when you wake up, and then it, it kind of slowly comes down at night so that you're tired enough to go to sleep. And when you're plugged into the earth, you're connected with the circadian rhythm of the earth. I've been waking up at like 5.30 or 6 a.m. I mean, you don't have to. It's very easy to fall back asleep because it relaxes you. It relaxes you within an hour. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to buy anything. You could just go outside and do this. But if you want to make this, you know, a really large part of your life, because the more time you put into this, the more you're getting back from it, then you might want to consider something so that you can just be grounded all day, even if it's just a little pad that, you know, when you're working at your desk that you can have. But the more you do this, it's just, you know, clearing inflammation. Like my mind was just going silent effortlessly. <laughs> And, you know, it's supposed to be effortless anyway, but you know what I mean? Like, instead of putting the effort that we need to put towards Dharma, towards, you know, we, we need to have right effort in the direction of healing and the direction of awakening to counteract all the, the wrong effort of the doing of the ego. So that's what I mean. So this is like literally effortless and the results have been outstanding. So I want to share this with you all because I believe this can actually break the stress cycle. I mean, it does break the stress cycle. They're, they have so much information about this. So when we're in fight or flight and we're trying to land in the moment, right? We're trying to feel safe so that we can then unload the trauma, but we can't do that while we're still in fight or flight. So we need to land. And this really helps us land because it immediately decreases the cortisol. And then it'll sync it up appropriately so that the right amount of cortisol is happening at the right time. We're in a world where the topsoils are depleted. We're not getting enough minerals. We need that for mental health. We're exposed to too many PUFAs, polyunsaturated fatty acids, which are also causing inflammation in the brain, mental health issues. There's so many toxins in the air, toxins in the water. And then on top of that, there's all the EMFs of our cell phones, our devices, the cell towers. And so when you are grounded, when you're touching the earth and you have a voltmeter in your hand, it goes to zero. So when you're not grounded, you're not touching the earth, we are having a positive charge because of all this extra charge, the EMFs, the electrical, the, the toxins, the heavy metals, all of these things are causing us to be positive. And then we ground and the voltmeter goes to zero. So you can't hold that excess charge when you're grounded. And it's really interesting because we ground our refrigerator, we ground our appliances, we ground everything so that it doesn't catch fire, you know, if there's like a lightning hit. And so it's very interesting, this inflammation, it's like, it's like this fire in us, like when we're grounded, it, it pulls all this out by adding the free electrons. It's doing that. Okay, I have some notes I'm going to read from here. So it decreases inflammation, you don't find inflammation in nature and wild animals. It decreases the chance of metabolic syndrome, neutralizes free radicals like an antioxidant. And we get the free electrons from the earth and that decreases oxidative stress. This is a huge issue people are dealing with right now, oxidative stress due to environmental stressors, but also trauma. So we should have a negative charge, that of the earth, which is the Schumann resonance. And when you are grounded, the object cannot hold charge. 
it decreases cortisol and puts you in an alpha brain state, which is the state of relaxation. It helps you sleep more deeply and that increases your dopamine and that helps with mood. And we are, a lot of us are at the risk of losing our redox potential because we don't have enough of these free electrons and we, we're losing them just by eating because we, we need to process that. We need to metabolize that and we need free electrons to do that. We lose it just through breathing, breathing in oxygen and the environmental stressors. So it's helping us manage that and it's helping our resiliency of our bodies to manage all of these environmental stressors. And that's going to translate, you know, into the emotional management as well, because if my nervous system is physically working in an optimal way, so is my emotional capability. And so we can't neglect the physical. We can't bypass our physiology. This is a great way to support your physiology. And again, it's effortless, which I'm just blown away. <laughs> so there are many peer-reviewed studies at earthinginstitute.net. There's also an earthing movie. If you just type in the earthing movie, it'll come up. There are so many people who've made videos about this. You can just go anywhere and find videos. And a lot of them are physicians and they're quoting studies. And so I'm not gonna go deep in the general stuff. I just wanna give you this background, but I wanna go a little deeper in how this can impact trauma healing and the amazing implications. So many of you may be aware that a lot of antidepressants are anti-inflammatories, you know, in addition to, you know, whatever neurotransmitters they're, they're targeting. But the correlation with inflammation and depression is huge. Inflammation in the brain and the body, you know, brain is the part of the body. If you've got an inflamed body, you're probably going to have an inflamed brain. So grounding is going to help with that. Grounding also helps improve vagal tone. This was such a surprise for me. I have had food allergies, a few for more than 20 years. And I have been able to just like eat foods that I haven't been able to for a long time. Not all of them, but way more of them. And that was shocking. And, and the reason for that is the vagal tone improves. You know, the vagus nerve goes many different places, but it goes into our gut, manages our mood, and it's responsible for sympathetic and parasympathetic states. So when we improve our vagal tone, it also improves our mood. It helps very directly the entire resiliency of our nervous system and helps us, you know, go through those states of sympathetic and parasympathetic waves more smoothly and with more capacity. So we need energy for emotional resiliency and we need energy for ourselves physically for metabolism. And there's a lot being said right now about bioenergetics and stress. And I hope to interview Danny Roddy, who is somebody who talks about Ray Pete's work. So earthing specifically quiets the sympathetic nervous system. And as it does that, it helps our adrenals recover if we've been in chronic stress, chronic fight or flight. And adrenal fatigue is the precursor to so many conditions. So this is really incredible, a direct way to interrupt the cycle of chronic stress. The adrenals make so many hormones. A lot of people lose weight doing nothing but earthing because they've just normalized their hormones. So of course, I'm not giving medical advice and see your medical practitioner, but it's like really not going to hurt to just be lying down on the ground. Now I'm going to read a couple of paragraphs from this book on earthing. And this is Tracy Latz, a physician who's an integrative psychiatrist. And she says that with grounding, she's seen improvements in many people, emotionally, mentally, and physically, and often a combination of these problems. And I, I'm going to read her in quotes here. She says, they often say they sleep much better. This is a big deal for many of my patients. I've observed earthing, helping psychiatric patients in the following ways. For those with anxiety, post-traumatic stress, generalized anxiety, panic disorder, et cetera, it generates an improved sense of safety. By improving sleep, earthing can help normalize serotonin levels in the brain as it decreases cortisol, an anxiety-inducing hormone. 
When cortisol levels are high, there's a tendency to go into fight or flight or panic responses to stressful situations and to become more easily angered or irritable. As cortisol levels decrease and stabilize, we become more centered, peaceful, and calm. We get more easily into our heart and have more compassion for ourselves as well as for others. Some people stop earthing after their anxiety gets better. I have to remind them about what helped them to get better. For depression, earthing can assist with stabilizing serotonin levels as noted above. Serotonin assists with decreasing crying spells, near tearfulness, and obsessive repetitive negative thoughts. When depressive symptoms lessen, energy levels rise and tolerance to stressful situations, pain, or discomfort improves. Many chronic pain patients referred to me from pain management doctors have not responded well to or are resistant to taking medication. With earthing, they often have decreased inflammatory problems overall. I've seen significant improvement of gluten intolerance and irritable bowel syndrome. Patients may not be completely cured, but their GI and stomach issues are better. They have less pain and anxiety. I recommend earthing for autoimmune conditions as well. So there's really just so much information in here, but I wanna share with you now some of my experiments as I've been doing this with the somatic background and in context with a few of my other videos. So I notice that when I lie down on these earthing sheets, or you could do this outside on the beach or on the grass, I, I can feel the frequency of the earth. And you can too, if you really tune in. Immediately when I laid down, I, I just thought of when I used to go camping a lot. It felt exactly like camping. That feeling, that aliveness, that freshness. And I can feel the buzzing coming from these sheets. They're, they're very, very subtle. And I also can hear the buzzing. And I have a pillowcase cover as well that is grounded. And when I hear and feel you know, these sensory experiences, I place my attention away from thinking and onto what I'm hearing and onto what I'm sensing. As I do that, it's the same as this video here I will link of stepping outside of the prison of our conditioning. So instead of placing attention on the thoughts that are causing suffering, I learn how to build that muscle of shifting attention away onto listening. And you can add in visual as well, and then onto feeling. And as I'm doing that, this is what I found. I'm not wasting energy from thinking. Thinking, you know, our brain requires 50% of our body's glucose requirements for energy. It's incredible. So if you're spending a lot of time worrying, it's draining your body's energy. And here, this earth thing, it's giving you energy. So I did an experiment. I forced myself to think, 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 think while I was on the sheet. And sure enough, it, I mean, the earth thing still helped, but I felt like I just poured out most of the energy I was receiving. So I think there's a method that you can use to maximize this. So if you shift your attention away from thinking and all this calms down, you stop pouring out, pouring out all the excess energy that you're getting. And then you just let the energy build up in you that you're receiving from the earth. And as you do that, you have that extra energy that can be used for healing your body rather than getting depleted through excess thinking. So... When we do this practice, I'm going to link a video here about surrendering mental attachments. And I go into the theory of why it's effective to turn away from thinking. And then I'll link one more video, which is the video right after part two of that, surrendering subtle ego hooks. You can do that basically in conjunction with this practice. So I'm surrendering thinking focusing on sensations, and then you learn how to stay there. You learn how to focus on what feels good. It, it feels really wonderful. It's very subtle, but if you tune in, there's something extremely calming. It feels like home to me. <laughs> it just feels like, like we're not supposed to be disconnected 
from the earth. But as you do that, you're receiving. And in somatic experiencing, whenever we experience something that feels good, when we're in a pleasant state, we try to stretch that out. As we do that, we're building the muscle of learning how to take in what feels good, how to receive that. Otherwise, the mind just thinks, oh, that's fine. I'm going to go focus on the next problem I have to fix. I'm going to focus on the places in the body that don't feel good. And then that's all we perceive because that's how the mind is trained to perceive. So we're learning how to shift perception as well. So you stretch this out. And this has become my most favorite meditation. And when I'm in non-dual, there's often a buzzing sound auditorily, but also a body buzzing if you're deeper in it. And this feels so similar, so similar that you could basically practice when you're there, just staying with it. How long can you focus on these pleasant sensations? And so as we do this, we're building up the energy and we're using it wisely and not depleting it through thinking. And as we do that, magical things can happen <laughs> in, this, in the sense of emotional resiliency, spiritual training. I mean, these are wise ways to use energy. You connect and you receive, and then you keep it so that your body can use it in the way that it needs. And the mind is quiet so that you can be the witness to start with. And then eventually, you know, you, you dissolve as much of the ego as you can. I also use this as a resourcing technique. It's just my favorite resource now. And I'll link a resourcing video here of different somatic resourcing techniques that you can use. But just lying down and receiving is resourcing. You're getting your cortisol levels down, you're decreasing stress, you're feeling safe. I feel so much safety and security being connected in this way. It just feels like the earth is nourishing me and feeding me and just unconditionally, it's unconditional, free, loving energy. That's how it feels. And I think that we can make use of this as best we can if this resonates for you, I mean, I think you can tell, I can't stop smiling about it. It's literally changed a lot of things. And so um, this company, earthing.com, if you get it from there, they have a 90-day return policy. So if it doesn't work for you, you can just return it. But even just like a pillowcase at night, like I'm sleeping so deeply every night. And um, I have a history of insomnia. And this has just made a huge difference. And I had done a lot of things before and they all helped, but I can't believe how far this goes. Okay, I'll end here. I just wanted to share this with you because I think this could be one of the best resources for anybody going through trauma, anyone suffering from physical illness. It's not gonna hurt it and it could only help. So I encourage you to look into some of the studies. I will link them in the description box below. I will also link the Earthing movie and um, I will link the, um, oh, I, I will link a video by uh, Clint Ober, the founder of all of this. He discovered this and I mean, it had been discovered I think a hundred years ago, but he, he discovered it again and put this into practice. And I'll link somebody interviewing him and it's really fascinating. So I hope this will just spark your curiosity to get some more information and then maybe just go outside for a walk with your bare feet. Feel free to share your experiences or any tips that you might have for getting connected with the earth below. And I'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>